Hello, welcome to Glitchy Toots. Today I'll be taking you through a Vegas Pro beginner guide. If you already have Vegas Pro downloaded, then follow along. But if you're planning on downloading it after seeing how it works, then you're most welcome to watch. Don't worry about it being difficult, just follow my lead. The first thing we need to do is to create a new project. Click File, then New. It's going to open up some project settings. Here, you're going to choose your template. The template I usually use is the HD 1080 24p. 1920 by 1080. There is a whole list that you can choose from. Leave all these other settings as they are. Move to full resolution rendering quality. It's usually set at good, but you want to set it best because if you render your work, you want it to be in the best quality. Then the resample mode. You're going to change this resample mode to disable resample. Check the start all new projects with the settings and click OK. Once you're done setting up your project settings, your project will open up. Here we're going to see the timeline. You can see transitions, media generator, project media, explorer, video effects, your trimmer, and your video preview. So the first thing that you need to know is how to import your media. There are three simple ways of how to do it. The first one is by simply clicking the import media and going to where your file is located and clicking on it, click open. The second way is by dragging and dropping. Open up your file explorer Go to where you saved your file and drag and drop it into the project media. The final way is by clicking File, click Import, then Media. You will then have to find the location of your media and click it, then click Open. After you've added your media, click this icon that says Save and Save Your Project. Name your project and decide where you want it to be saved. Then hit OK. As you progress through your edits, continuously hit Ctrl plus S just in case Sony Vegas decides to crash. Now you move on to the trimmer. This trimmer is here if you want to cut out a portion of a clip from a whole long video. My video has already been trimmed but I'm just going to split it a bit for you to see. Simply drag and drop the media into the trimmer. Now you need to choose the portion of the clip that you need. We have the in point that is set by clicking I and the out point that is set by clicking O. Move to the point where you want your clip to start and click I. Scrub through to where you want the clip to end and click O. As you can see, this highlighted region is the portion I want to clip. Click the button that says Add to Timeline from the cursor. Depending on the location of your cursor, the clip will appear in front of it in the timeline. In the timeline, we have two tracks. One is the video track and the other is the audio track. To create a new video track, right click on an existing one and click insert video track. If you don't need the video track, simply click it then hit delete. The same can be done for the audio track. Right click, insert the audio track. If you don't need it, click it then hit delete to zoom into your clip simply drag in the horizontal bar at the bottom or use your scroll wheel you can also zoom in the track vertically by clicking the plus and the minus sign found on the right in the preview window you can set the resolution in which you would like to view your video in if you have a powerful computer you can go up to best full or best half but if your computer is a potato like mine, simply go Preview Auto. Before you start any editing to your clips, you need to disable the resampling. To do this, right click, switches, then disable resample. If you don't do this, when you render your videos, your quality will be messed up. Now let's move into the editing part. Let's say you cut out your clip a bit too long and you want to shorten it. You can simply hold the end of the clip and drag it in or if you want to clip the end you right click click trim end but if you wanted to clip the front the somewhere towards the beginning right click trim start if you want to divide your video into several bits simply press s it will split your video or you can go the long way by right clicking and clicking split to remove what you don't need, simply click delete. If you made a mistake in your clip and you'd like to remove it, click Ctrl plus Z. That will undo. And if you want to return that 
error that you had made, click Ctrl plus Y, that is redo. If you want to speed up your clip, hold the end of your video together with Ctrl and drag it in. To slow down, you can drag it out, but this will make your video very choppy. But if this is the look you're trying to get, then that's what you'll be doing. I don't want this audio that comes with my clips. As you see, the clips are joined and they need to be separated. You can click on the clip, then click U on your keyboard. Or you can right click, group, clear. You can then finally delete this audio that you don't need. Click it and click the delete button. A point to note, we have a line that runs at the top of both the video and the audio. If you move the line at the video downwards, you will lower the opacity. If you move the line at the audio downwards, you will lower the levels. Lowering the levels is lowering the volume. At the top right corner of your video clip, we have two icons, the crop button and the FX button. The crop button is used to either cut out part of the video or the image that you don't like, or you can use it to zoom in and out, or other types of simple slides and animations. If you want to add effects to your clip, click on the effects button that is found at the top right corner of your video clip. When you click on it, a window will open that has a whole list of different effects that you can use. Choose what you'd like to try and see how it becomes. Another way you can add your effects is going to the video effects tab and choosing from there. Basic transitions. Let's start with working with basic fade. You can fade either the audio or the video. This is done by simply hovering over the corner of the clip and you'll see a small icon that resembles a quarter circle. Click it and drag it in. Here you'll have formed your fade. You can also choose how you want your fade to look like by right clicking when you see the icon and you'll have a whole list of different types of little fading graphs. You can add transitions into this faded area. Go to the transitions tab Take out a transition that you would like to use and place it into that area that you had initially faded. If you want the transition to be in between two clips, simply push the clip into the other and let them interlock. Place your transition at that interlocking point and there your transition is done. And now to the final element of our editing, the text. To add your text, click on media generator, then titles and text. Choose the text that you want. It can be a simple text or a text that already has animation in. Drag and drop into the timeline. Once you've put it into the timeline, a small window is going to open. In this window, you can set the font of your text. You can decide how you want your text to be. You can add a shadow. You can also decide to choose the location. Once you're done, click X. If you want to go back and fix some more parts, then simply click this video like icon and the window will open again. Now that we're done with our edit, we need to preview it before rendering it. Hold your cursor and drag it all through your edit so that there's a blue highlight all over it. Click Shift B and let it load for a while. After some time, watch your video. It will be smoother. But if it was already smoother without you doing this, then you don't need to do this part. Now we're ready to render our work. Click on this icon that says render us or click file then render us. A small window will open. Click the format that you will be using to render. If it's a video, I recommend Sony AVC MVC. This is what I've been using. If it's an audio, then MP3 audio will be the best. Use highest quality VPR stereo audio. Since now this is a video, we'll go with Sony AVC MVC. I use internet 1920 by 1080 and the pixels are usually adjusted to what our clip or our project was. At the start of the project, our project was 24p and here it's 30p. So that means we need to adjust it. Click customize template, a window will open. We have the frame rate option. Click the drop down and choose 24. Click OK. You can choose the name of your edit, choose the location you want it to be saved at, and click render. Wait for it to render, and you're done.